I can't wait. I was just playing a little guitar after work and figured this one out a few minutes ago, so I thought, you know what, let's just do a quick video. So, let's see what he's up to here. All right, so there's a three chord uh, progression that happens throughout the intro and the verses. And it's really simple, it's just G, E minor, uh, actually E minor seven, and C add nine, all right? So what he's doing that makes it kind of interesting, at least what it sounds like, is he's keeping those notes the whole time. And the combination of the uh, like the organ patch that he's got on the keyboards, the guitar, and it kind of gives it this. So what you want to do is hit... strum like that so get that strum clean okay just, just listen to the record and you'll you'll get that rhythm uh, when you play that C you want to mute that low E string to get that nice and you could play this with or without the third probably um, probably without let's see yeah either way is fine so that basically just continues so on and so on okay so then at the end of that uh, well the pre-chorus comes in so after that three chord deal that goes for about 40 seconds uh, we go to the pre-chorus and we're gonna change here so let's just listen to that. All right, super simple, right? It kicks into a D. Uh, sus2 would be my suggestion, or just D5. Either one's fine, and then an A sus two, okay. Not in, don't play an A. He hardly ever plays that full A chord. A sus two. All right. All right. So let's do that again, the pre-chorus, and then we'll play through the chorus this time. So, again, pre-chorus D and A. Okay. And then the I can't wait is F, G, C, add nine. Now I'm playing my Fs like with my finger over the top just because it's it's at a smoother transition than doing a bar chord, right? And you can, I can just get more finger pressure to ring those notes out lower there. Um, I always listen. I think bar chords just basically sound like shit. I mean, this is a bar chord, but it, it just has a something about it sounds different to me, right? It's it's just like a bar chord. So use my thumb to get the F note there, and then just you know those four fingers there. So F. second time 
in the first chorus. Then down to a G over B. And then an F over A. Back to a G. And then end on F major 7. And there's a reverse rake right there on that F major 7. So let's listen to that chorus one more time. Reverse rake. Right there. Right. Okay. So then we go back to a verse. With Okay, so then it just does the same thing, except on the, the, the second chorus, it leads us to a bridge. So watch what happens here. Let's find that. All right, same deal. What happens here is the vocal doesn't kick back in and he goes to a pre-chorus and the pre-chorus does something kind of cool so let's let's listen to what happens all right just goes and goes the e and the c now listen Watch the A chord here. Listen to the bass. Okay, now that just goes all the way to the end. He doesn't substitute the A, uh, F over A there. Just goes all the way to the end like that. And then listen at the end. Listen. Hands on that C. All right. I bet a nice. So, uh, simple, groovy, fun. A couple of nice little bits in there. Um, maybe it's worth playing that that little part where you've got that descending uh, you got that a over g chord yeah let's just do that one more time then we'll wrap this up okay so what we're going to do is we're listening to that we're going to listen i need to slow down we're going to listen to that last pre-chorus one more time There, you could maybe play a G chord there. Listen. Probably either one is okay. It sounds to me like he's just playing a G over that A chord, right? So that's really the whole song. Again, let me, at the end, end on that C. Good times had by all. Thank you very much.